Hi everyone, it's Plastic Tiara from Season 11 of RuPaul's Drag Race and today I'm going to be showing you how I achieved my basic biological woman go to the grocery store to pick up some apples picking up some hydrogen peroxide, you know, for the kids It's going to take me a lot of chapstick and a lot of clear mascara but we're going to get through it together Watch me go from this to this First, what you want to do is you want to moisturize them crusty ass lips because lip gloss over dry ass lips is not cute. Second step is to do alcohol to get the oils off your brows and I, co and I cover my sideburns too. Low dark caliber. Next, we're going to take our glue stick and go in. This is gonna be a long process. But I refuse to shave them off because I do not want to look like Silky. God bless her soul. Cute. Okay. Sovereign. You're welcome. And I know a lot of y'all might be thinking, oh, she's actually a lot funnier now that she's eliminated. You're right. So, while letting that dry, I'm gonna color correct. Grab your orange, put it on your beard, Aria. Around the mouth too. And you're gonna look like a monster. And that's okay because everybody else is uglier. You want to set that into some powder. The one tip for eyebrows is that when you think you're done, put another coat on. Okay. Well, let's hope that's enough. I'm going to set her. some powder really pressed it in because you don't want it to move when you do three sets of eight counts the back hands bring into the split off the stage so you're gonna take your foundation your full coverage cream foundation that is Dirty as hell. Oh my god. We're gonna put it all over your face. Every time I do my makeup, I used to like really like, you know, just sit down, enjoy the paint and the process. But now every time I try to like sit down and do my makeup, I just hear, hurry up, you have 15 minutes. They'd be like, are you ready to take the green screen photo, sweetie? I'm like, no, nobody is. And this is just a really full coverage um, foundation. And I'm putting it, it's a stick form, so it lathers a lot more. There's a lot more product that's being distributed. So I put it on there and then I kind of blend it in a little bit. Set that because we're gonna put foundation over them. That is actually our color. And I use a beauty blender to apply because I don't want a lot of product on my skin because drag makeup is very harsh. And um, the least amount of product that you have on your skin, the better. Now you take your dirty ass concealer brush and you Go in like this. You map out where you want your highlight. It's gonna be. Oh, sh I forgot to contour first. Good. Nothing crazy, you know. We don't want any, you know, drastic clown white or um, some colors that um, Mercedes uh, use on the show. She want like all the light to be at the center of your face. 
because women have small little stasis. And I am a woman, so. I like to highlight that. Contour with a darker foundation shade. And then go over here, soften the jawline. I'm just placing the product on right now. I'm not blending yet. Why me? I just want to win Drag Race. That didn't work. I just want to show people how I do my makeup. That didn't work either. And then go under here. You know, very that. Just want to pile more shit on. And your beauty blender is your best friend because the beauty blender, um, I wet it beforehand, therefore it's gonna take away all the excess products that you don't need and distribute that all around. You can take even a lighter concealer. You wanna go right in the middle of your face. And then you're doing an optical illusion that your face is smaller than it actually is. Yeah, here's where it gets you too. There you go. Then... Oh yeah. Highlight that nosh. Oh, that's nosh. Okay. Now, before everything creases into oblivion, you're gonna set that. Set underneath your eyes. forehead all the way across the nose and this is still the translucent powder this has no color in it so it's not going to alter anything this is literally what beating the face is take out your all of your frustration how you're meant to be top four you just want to beat the sh out of your face hit the bottom two you're going to do your eyes And I, lay, and I put a lot of powder underneath my eyes, so then... Oh yeah, it smells good. Um, have fallout on your eyeshadows, the powder will catch it, and then you can just sweep that shit away. So I'm gonna take a dark, a dark brown, and I'm gonna carve out my crease. Now you move on to this eye. I'm gonna place the dark sh shadow where you want your crease to be. And you take the medium brown again, and you lend it out, lend it out. Wow, that looks so f***ed up. I'm gonna take some of your uh, lighter concealer, and you're gonna carve out your crease. Oh, okay, that's a little better. See, maybe sometimes in life there's there's just a glimmer of hope and you just have to take it. That didn't happen to me on Drag Race, but it, it happened now. You have to set the cream and then you can put on the other, the other shadow, okay. Just doing, just doing some shimmer and reach. I'm gonna put even more shimmer on top of it. Mm. Yeah, this is a um, liquefy glitter. Y'all was hoping for a very professional tutorial, right? You're welcome. Now I'm just putting a the dark brown eyeshadow that I put on at the beginning underneath the lash line and following that line upwards to create an eye shape before I go away with the darkest color. Because I'm a professional. And I'm gonna turn this way so you can see this way too. Now we're gonna take the dark brown again. Go in here. I'm gonna try to blend this. 
the best way that we can. I don't even know what I'm doing. Just, just watch. I just want to do that to your eyes. And then um, take the brown and kind of like fade it into the shimmer. Yes! Now you want to take your black. And you got to be careful with this. Just want to go in the outer quanta. And do that. Really push it in to create whatever it is you want to create. And then you go in with the brown and blend it out and blend it out. You want to take that black and go right here. I take the lightest glitter that I got and I put it right here. Just want to take the black sh and draw this sh across your eye. And then blend out the edges. I don't like a, I don't know why, but I'm not a huge, huge fan of um, winging out my eyeliner. Don't ask me why. I just like kind of like let the shadow do it by itself. Liquid liner will glide over the glitter better too. So, cause if you use like a cream liner and if you use like really thick, thick, thick glitter, it's gonna get uh, crumbly. Gonna dust off the powder. Foundation powder. And we're gonna take it on a sponge and do this. This just adds highlights back to the face. I think that's what it does. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna do it one spray. Oh, that didn't get my face. Right now, we're gonna go in with our bronzer. You just wanna, like, you know, bronze the outer perimeter of your face. You see how that just makes my face look a little skinnier? Just a little bit. You're gonna take a lighter highlighting powder and just go here. Oh, you see that? See that? <laughs> down your nose, lay it upwards. And if you are watching right now and you're thinking to yourself, huh, that highlight kind of looks unblended. You're right. And if a woman don't want to blend her highlight, she doesn't need to. Because at the end of the day, she's still a woman. No one can take that away from her. Okay, onto our nose. Bada bing, bada boom. I connect. Uh, kind of kind of like kind of like connect it into your eyeshadow. Oh god. And then you can you can clean up with the sponge that you put your highlight. So the closer your highlight is to your nose, the better because then it gives like an illusion that your nose is actually really small and the bone here doesn't go as wide as it actually does. This is where you can go crazy. Because the more blush you put on, the prettier you will be. Okay, let's set it. And this is when you can feel your pheromone fantasy. So, first highlight, I'm gonna place it right here. We're gonna do the highlight on our nose. Just dot the highlight right there. Oh my God, that's a lot. Okay. Calm th down. Let's put some brows on. So, I just 
do my eye shape first and then draw brows on at the end to make my life a little bit easier. I'm gonna take a soft brown color and I'm gonna map out my shape first. I like to go at the top first. So, oh God. I like to do these. And if you up, it's okay because we're gonna go in with concealer later. If we feel like it. Uh, this is a brow pomade that I'm putting on. I like pomades because it's very creamy and it stays on a little bit longer so it doesn't fade too quickly. Take a brow powder now. And this is how you create the more of like the faded effect. I'll take like a brush and I go into like a blonde color. I just do that at the beginning and then we'll just kind of marry that. Boom, okay. And then we're gonna fill the rest of that brow in with the soft brown. If one of your brows look better than the other, just wear bangs. Dark brown color. It's really defining the tail. And then um, you can go in with your concealer. Now we got everything done. We're gonna just like set it a little bit using the beauty blender that had like love over powder. When you grow up in a Catholic Asian family, you're the only gay kid in the whole entire family tree. And you wanna be cute, you gotta learn to curl your eyelashes with a spoon. Put some glitter at the bottom. I just like having the bottom of my eye twinkle. When you perform, you just like look up and they're just like, oh, that bitch has glitter underneath her eyes. Yes, she is. We're gonna put top and bottom because we are wet women. And I uh, make my own lashes, so I put like 301s, I cut a bunch of them together. And lashes for me is when everything kind of comes together. Oh my god! She's a woman! We just gotta put this hair on, lips, and we donezo. I don't like really like chunky bottom lashes because like, it makes my eye looks like a tarantula. Lipsticks. Take a darker nude. I kind of use it as a lip liner. Take your liner lipstick. Go in the center. Last step, you can put a gloss one. What a boom. So now the face is done, she's set, she's ready, and I'm gonna put on my wig. Right back. This is my biological signature plastic tiara, going to the grocery store makeup look, and I hope y'all enjoyed. And if you'd like to see more looks from me, um, you can follow me at Plastic Tiara on every social media ever. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see y'all next time. Stay beautiful. Mwah. Hey beauties, it's Sasha Velour, the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9. Do you want all the hot Drag Race tea? Then you better subscribe to VH1's YouTube channel, and you'll have all the fresh videos sent directly to your inbox. Now that's something not to joke about.